It's Double K Beats. I'm here again with something new this time around. So this tutorial is about, uh, I just want to get out to the beginners that's just starting, you know. So this is basically a beginner tutorial and uh, tips for the beginners. Let's call it like that. This is a good, some good tips for the beginners that's just starting. So with that, let's jump into it. I'm gonna go ahead and bring this up real quick. Let's open this up and let's show y'all the properties. June 3rd, 2012. So with that, June 3rd, 2012. So let's cancel that out. Let's go ahead and bring the beat open that I have now. Bring that up. And that says April 22nd, 2013. So Y'all remember the 2012. I just wanted to show y'all that because I'm going to get into that. But this is a beginner tutorial because every, I, I believe every everybody that's just starting off in FL Studio should have something look like this. Just one little track to what you practice on, figure out what FL Studio does, and how you create a melody to to everything to every from figuring out what goes in here you know what's the master track like i got edison i didn't know what that was at the time i feel like everybody should have something on that track you know just like not long. i feel like every beginner should have something to practice on because I get a lot of beginner tutorials like, hey, I'm just starting off in the studio, blah, 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 J, blah, J, menage. Anyway, <laughs> so this is what I've done. If you see Kilo 3, I'm going to have a tutorial up on my first beat ever. It's either going to be up before this one, so, in which it is. So go check that out. Uh, it's my first beat ever. You can hear how that sound when I first started off in producing. And I came to Kilo 3, and I was going to make something. So, But I, I uh, ended up falling off on it. So I was like, this is just going to be practice. This is what I'm going to use when I'm trying to figure out how to create a drum pattern, snare rows, to melodies, to stutter effects to samples all that this is a beginner tip tutorial so this is for the beginners i was a beginner this is what i've done when i started as a beginner so let's jump into it let's let y'all hear the nasty just because this is not even a beat this is just what i was practicing on this is i was trying to figure out how i can do this and do that so Let's just show y'all what I was doing. I mean, this is like I said, this is 2013. So I was still in 2013 figuring out how to use, how to make different things. As that other one, my first beat, Kilo 1, which I have a tutorial on that. Go check that out. Uh, that was 2012. I didn't touch that beat after that. All I done was brought it from... FL Studio 10 to FL Studio 12. That's all I've done. So with that, this is what I had going on on my practice. Look, I don't even know what this was, but I was practicing. I went from, I was like, man, how they pan, pan they stuff. So I figured it out. And I came in and panned it. This is not something, this is not a, like I said, this is not a beat that I finished. This was just figuring out things. I was a beginner. I'm trying to figure out. I was hearing different beats, hearing good producers at the time in 2013. Well, 2012, that's when I started on this. I was hearing good producers. I'm like, how they pan it? How Lex Luger do his, um... 808s, man, get them jumping. Now it's so, so 
flooded with that stuff. Like every producer feel like they have to have it. So flooded. But at the time, Lex Luthor was doing this and nobody was doing it. So, you know, a, uh, Kanye West did this 808 stuff. Nobody knew that. So it was, man, I was, how can I do it? So this was just a beginner thing. I came in and I was like, oh, I see. Watching tutorials, like I told you in my previous tutorial. I did watch a, a lot of tutorials on YouTube and they're very helpful. So I figured now I know a lot, I can offer a lot. So that's why I make these tutorials. But anyway, I just came and like, I seen I seen somebody else do it and they uh, tutorials. It's a long time ago, so I can't shout out their name other than that I would. So I was like, oh, I see. So I came to pan and just panned it. That's it. I mean, I had some. Look, just showing y'all, like, my way of learning. Like, I put her heads and rolled them up and rolled it down. Just practice. Just practicing, you know. Let's take out this. That's this one. From the... From the haze, just practicing, man. That's how that's, that's how I was doing stuff. Just different sound. That's a little Wayne kid. Little Wayne kid. But that's all. I <laughs> As you see right there, that was just practice, trying to practice. Uh, plies, this is like an 808. I was using that as a, as a bass. And I actually used that in the first tutorial, my first beat ever. And uh, I apologize for the squeaky chair, man. And squeaky, squeaky. But anyway, just practice. I feel like every uh, beginner should have a, 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 a project or whatever, come in and figure out things, figure out how to use it. Now, with that being said, I showed y'all from 2012. This beat here was modified in 2013, but 2012 is when I started, get got started making beats. Well, I think 2011 on to 2012 because 2011 I started my mixtape. It's called uh, Six Letters. So, so I started my mixtape 2011, 2012. And now we here in 2017. So you do the years. Been doing this for a while. And I actually been rapping for many years since 2006. So y'all do the years on that. And uh, we going to go ahead and show y'all. Now, since everybody's so just like, man, gross beat on this, gross beat on that. This is 2013. This beat was modified in 2013, but I started in 2011. So 2012 is when you seen that first beat. Uh, gross beat. Now, gross beat today, everybody, ooh, need gross beat. But I was using this, trying to figure it out way back before it came to the eyes of everybody trying to use. So with that, I was already trying to get something out there before it got out there. So with that, hey, I didn't figure it out until somebody else done, did. So I was basically too late to get this out there. But I used this. That's why I showed y'all that day because I used this. Well, I didn't use it. I tried to. I did use it. I used it in one of the, uh, either my second beat because there's three. One, two, either my second beat, I used gross beat. And y'all never heard that because I never put it out. But anyway, uh, I, it, it, it ain't industry quality. And if you check my previous story out, you can hear it from my first beat ever made. It's not industry quality. But that's, that's just as a friendly thing that I wanted to share with y'all. That's why I showed y'all the dates because I was already trying to figure out gross beat before, you know, whoever started the gross beat, gross beat 
type beats and so flooded with gross beats when you don't even need this if you're a creator you create something without having to add this in every track but as a beginner that's where i'm coming at it. if you're a beginner just have a, a project to where you practice them if if you you see here that I had gross B up before everybody started using it, I was trying to figure it out. Just trying to figure out how it sounds. Now let me let y'all hear. Bring it on in. <laughs> And there it is. Before it was so populated and flooded with gross speed these days, I was already trying to practice. And I, that's, I ain't gonna say it again. I was. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to practice and see what growth speed was, was like. So I used it. I was practicing on it. And in this, I can't. If good go. girls get down on the floor. On the top, 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 tell me how low, tell me how low, tell me how low, will a bad girl go? I was trying to figure out how to chop. So that's why you. If good girls get down on the floor. On the top, 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 tell me how low, tell me how low, tell me how low, will a bad girl go? There it is. Trying to figure out how to chop. So I had a sample in here. Men's like this sample. Trying to figure out how to chop. This is a big. I was a beginner, so I came in and tried to. Figure fuck you if you hate. Fuck you. Fuck you if you hate. And there it is. Just that simple. Nothing too major. Fuck you. Fuck Turn your headphones down. That, that's, that sounds so disgusted. And I was trying to figure out how to do a, a snail roll. So I came back, which is, was in 2013. This was the last thing I have done. Uh, I think no uh, chopping was the last thing I done in this. Now I don't do anything in it anymore because I feel like if I need to figure it out, I will figure it out as as when I'm creating a beat. I'll figure it out then. So I don't come back to this, but as a beginner, I came back to this particular project just to practice. So I won't mess up the beat that I was creating. I was practicing in here. So I was trying to figure out a snare row, and this is how I sound. I'm trying to figure it out. <laughs> anyway, this is all. Um, trying to figure out the snare rolls, and I figured it out as I kept going on through the years making beats. You got to keep creating beats, man. You got to keep doing it. If you want to get started, have a project like this. Just come in here, practice so you won't mess up the beat that you are trying to create. Just come back to the old project, a beginner project, and practice on it. I was like, I showed you, practice on chopping, practice on the snail rolls, practice on some gross beat using that, practice on how I go about adding perks. From kicks to panning kicks to 808s, trying to do the select Luger. I say Lex Luger because he, he, he he the one that you know did his thing with the 808s and stuff so and back in the day that's what i was trying to get that type of feel so with that that's what i was trying to do so as a beginner good tips for you take it and run with it this is where you come you always want a project to start practicing 
how you do your melodies, how you come in the mixer and bring up plugins, how they all sound, to coming in your channels, seeing how they all, do, all those sound, just bringing them in. Basic plugins, if you have all these, you know, VST, you know, just bring them in to see how they sound. Just, to just have a project to practice on. That's what I've done here. So, like I say, this is beginnatorial. Thank you for tuning in. Double K Beats. Look out for next week for something else for you. For you and for y'all. Like I always say, like I'm talking to five different people that's watching this tutorial. But for you. And um, thank you for tuning in. If you need some more tips. Email me, markykilo20 at yahoo.com or the link will be in the description below. This is for you. Begin a tip tutorial. Holla.